Hello, I am back with another cooking episode. So it is a rainy, gloomy day here in New York. And whenever the weather is like this, I always crave chocolate. So I was like, what better than some chocolate brownies? So I came across this super simple recipe for brownies that only involves two ingredients. Let's give it a try. Like usual, I'm keeping things keto, which is low carb and low sugar. So I am starting off with the Lily's chocolate chips and some good old pasture-raised organic eggs. Those are gonna be our two ingredients for this recipe. First things first, I am prepping this to melt the chocolate. I don't have a microwave, so I have to do it on the stove. And to make sure that you're not burning your chocolate, you do want to do it in a double pot like this with water in the outer pot, which is what I'm doing. Okay, so right here I have nine ounces of Lily's dark chocolate baking chips. I love dark chocolate, that's why I went with that one, but of course you can go with milk chocolate if that is your preference. I'm also going to throw in some butter because when have we ever gone wrong adding butter to a dessert recipe? This is exactly what my problem is. I can never follow direction or instructions. I just do my own thing and hope for the best. So um, yeah, but you know, it's like, when is adding butter a bad thing? The key to not burning your chocolate is making sure it's on low heat and constantly stirring. So here we are. In the meantime, I'm going to mix up my eggs. So I'm gonna start with four eggs. Wow, I totally just dropped that on the floor. Fun story, so I just turned my oven on to preheat and the roaches come out of there when it gets nice and, and hot, a little too hot for them, they start crawling out. So that's what it's like living in New York City. Now whisk away, get that flick of the wrist right. Oh, and if you're trying to be a baddie like me in the kitchen for your mans cooking away, looking all cute, I link this jumpsuit in my bio. So make sure you get yourself this for the summer, for the spring, for the gym, for running errands. I don't care. Just make sure you get it because it's super cute. I just got it and it's so soft and comfy. Um, Yeah, so had to show it to you guys. But anyways, back to the program. Oh my God, my arm is gonna fall off. So this is where we are at with our frothiness texture. Um, my arm is gonna fall off, so I think I'm just gonna call it a night with this one. Transferring this melted chocolate into the eggs now, and then you gotta mix it in until it turns into a batter. All right, so this is what my batter is pretty much looking like. Buttering up that pan and I'm just going to throw it in here in this pan and put it in the oven. Didn't I tell you, there he is, little guy. He was like, oh, it's getting hot in here. Ah! 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 I got him, I got him. Oh, sorry you gotta, you gotta see that. This is the brownie batter and I'm about to throw it in the oven. All right, so I am setting my timer for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I will be hand washing my underwear. Fresh out of the oven and it has cooled down already, so it's time for the taste test. It's still steamy. It's really hot, but I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Okay, okay. Okay, so the texture is very like light and fluffy. The taste is very rich, but that's because I use dark chocolate. I think what will be good is if you do like a mixture of milk and dark chocolate. But for, it's really hot. Woo. For two ingredients, 
for two ingredient brownies it was really good it could use like a little bit of sweetener but we're you know keto so so if you're not worried about being keto or like being sugar free or low sugar the only thing i would change is add a little bit of like maple syrup or sugar to the recipe other than that for like quick super easy brownies super good texture is good um and super rich if you like that really chocolatey flavor all my ladies forget your purse beat your face up pick your skirt he look thirsty quench his thirst spend that money up like the first do your worst do your worst